Hi, this is Dorothy from TaiChiBozeman.com slash RawFoodBlog and from FaveDiets.com. Um, finished squeezing the uh, almond milk, so we're going to make eggnog today. Really thick and creamy eggnog with no eggs, no cream, so it's going to be really good for you. And what I did, and you can see this on my How to Make Almond Milk video, is take a cup and a half of almonds and soak it, soak them. Let me just wash my hands for a second. I soak them in a jar like this in water and for 24 hours, and then I pour it off the water and let it sit there for another 12 hours until they sprout it. And almonds are so good for you. They um, they lower the risk of gallstones. They uh, lower your weight gain. They lower <laughs> the, the bad LDL, and they lower your blood pressure, and they're incredibly rich in minerals, calcium, phosphorus, um, the B vitamins, and vitamin E and selenium, which are really good for your skin. And so look on my video and see how to make that, but it's pretty easy. You just sprout it, and then you blend it with water, which is what we just did and then um, squeezed out all the milk and the almond pulp that's in here, you can use that to make cookies, which I'll do. And so pour the rest of the almond milk in there. So that was a cup and a half of almonds with just about uh, 32 ounces of water. Is that right, Kev? Kev actually did it for me today. Because <laughs> we, usually for almond milk, we would fill it all the way up, but for eggnog, you want it a little bit more thick and creamy. So 24 ounces of water, and then 32 ounces of water, 2 teaspoons of cinnamon, 2 teaspoons of nutmeg, we're making it really spicy. And if you notice, probably the reason why you want eggnog is because it's so sweet. Even that silk eggnog, the uh, soy milk eggnog, is really sweet. So you want to add your liquid sweetener, and this, it, you could add coconut nectar, which is from the blossoms of the coconut tree, or you could add agave nectar or honey, and um, about a fourth to a third a cup if you want it really sweet. So any liquid sweetener, you could do stevia too. And then just a dash, a couple grains of salt, believe it or not, the, the Himalayan crystal salt or sea salt will give your body lots of minerals. And then a dash of vanilla. I'm using vanilla powder. You can use vanilla extract if you want, or vanilla stevia. That would be really good. And then we'll blend it. I pour it in the glass because it's so creamy. I'm so looking forward to this eggnog. Almond milk is so amazing. You could have also used macadamia nut or cashew, um, sunflower seed milk, sesame seed milk, and it's all the same process. So pour it in our glass here. So creamy and frothy. And then you do want to, if you can wait, you'll want to chill this for a little bit, put a little bit more grains of nutmeg and cinnamon on it. To your health from Dorothy at TaiChiBozeman.com slash RawFoodBlog and from FaithDiets.com. Enjoy your eggnog.